Hi everybody, today is Wednesday and I'm vlogging and um, it's already like almost lunchtime so I did not vlog anything this morning, um, mostly because I was just tired and I did not sleep very well. I was basically up every three hours. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm really hoping that gets better, but so far I'm still struggling with sleep issues. Um, so now I am at Lowe's. So I have some errands to run. I wanna go uh, stop in here to Lowe's because I'm gonna look for some blinds for our bedroom. I'm hoping that maybe I can help my bad sleep situation by making our room darker so less sunlight comes in. So I'm gonna go look for some blackout blinds. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really sure what all I'm gonna find here today, but I just thought I'd at least start and take a look. And then um, there's a place that I'm gonna stop that's right near here that's called Eiffel Waffle. And they have like bubble waffles and ice cream. And while I'm kind of hot and cold on ice cream, um, I do love bubble waffles. So I think I'm gonna stop for a little snack as soon as I'm done at Lowe's. So um, yeah, that's what's up, let's head in. All righty, here's Lowe's, going in. While I'm here, I figure I'll look at flowers too. They have a great garden section. There's so many pretty flowers. I don't have a green thumb, but um, I wish I did. And this always makes me wanna buy some plants. Well, this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I don't see anything that says blackout and I need blackout curtains like room darkening I don't think I don't know if that's the same thing okay I picked one this is what I'm gonna try I'm just getting one for now to see if it works blackout it's in white and it's cordless and it's 34 inches wide so I really hope that this works is it nerdy that I have to wear my sunglasses in the light section? Because this is just a migraine waiting to happen. Okay, and right by the Lowe's is in this place called Eiffel Waffle. It sounds really cute, so I'm going to um, go in there and get a little snack. Okay, got my snack and here's um, like a paper menu that I took from inside and so I ordered um, waffle towers and I got three of them you can order like as um, like three or six and I obviously three is plenty so I ordered the Mount Sprinkle which has Nutella and sprinkles and I will show them too but that's the whole um, paper menu and look how cute these are so they're bubble waffles on a stick and then they have some different topping choices so this has Nutella and sprinkles and they just looked so good and I just am not in the mood for ice cream because I don't always love ice cream so yeah this is still a way to get the bubble waffles so so let's try these and they are still hot so I'm hoping they're not too hot to eat oh I hope they don't fall and break off of here look at that so it's a stick of three uh, bubbles I guess and then you get three of these sticks so even an order of three of these sticks I think is definitely shareable like you could share this even with three people like everybody get their own stick okay I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna try not to make a big mess okay let me try just a little piece of the waffle on its own it's very cakey I've had bubble waffles before, like they have them at Disney Springs, and um, that's a lot like lighter and crispier, but this is just, oh my gosh, it's, it is totally falling apart. Yep, there it goes. Completely, it's completely falling apart off the stick. But like this is just like cake, sort of, like it's really heavy. And unfortunately, the um, waffle batter here just does not have hardly any flavor super plain Nutella of course is good I like sprinkles but I'd like the waffle to have something 
on its own and it just doesn't. Now I'm at the grocery store because I have a couple of things that I need to get for dinner tonight. So I'm just making my way through, trying to go quickly because I do not want to be here very long. It's a while later now and I have changed into a little tank top under my shirt because it was so hot. It was warmer than I expected today and it was just so hot in the house and I was just so uncomfortable. Um, it's raining again. Oh my gosh. It's been raining on and off today and it just started up again. That's crazy. So definitely no rollerblading tonight. Um, so my parents were here. I did some stuff with them. Um, what else? I couldn't even show the grocery haul because my parents were already here and we, they helped me put away the groceries. Um, so we got some stuff done, which was good. And, uh, then I wasn't feeling super tired. Yeah. Hi buggy. Um, so knock on wood today. I have not felt super exhausted, but I did feel a little tired. So I laid on the couch and took a nap for a little while. It wasn't a, like a super long nap. And the cat is, I think, enjoying the fact that I'm a little more tired now because he loves to cuddle with me and nap with me, which is adorable. And I appreciate because, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't leave me alone, but, um, it, then he's so cuddly, it just encourages me to just lay there and keep sleeping. So uh, we're up now, right, Bug? We're up now. And um, not only do I have a lot of dishes to do, but I also have to start dinner. So I think I'm going to start dinner before I worry about dishes. And what we're making tonight is turkey and white bean chili verde. This is a recipe from HelloFresh. So we don't subscribe to HelloFresh currently, but we used to. And we enjoyed it a lot when we did. Um, but we saved the recipe cards for the recipes that we like the best. So this is one that we really enjoyed. And so um, you don't need a whole lot for it. Cannellini beans, chicken stock, garlic, flour, scallions. I don't have scallions. Um, green salsa, ground turkey, onion, jalapeno. I'm not going to use jalapeno because we can't handle a lot of spice in this house. Um, sour cream and Southwest spice blend. So you can, like, because I don't have some prepackaged HelloFresh Southwest Spice Blend, like it's calling for, you can Google what that is, like what's in it, and just make your own as long as you have the spices in the cabinet. And then, um, you know, other things like they would send you chicken stock concentrate. Well, I have chicken stock that I can use here. So that's why we really like saving the HelloFresh recipes. And this is one that um, my sister requested for dinner this week. So that's what I'm gonna make. Um, I'm going to at least get it going. I mean, I don't think it's going to take a super long time to make this or anything, but I'd rather start this now so that it can be ready um, sooner rather than later in case anybody gets hungry sooner. And then I will um, finally, finally work on some of the dishes. Do you want to check out the rain with me? Oh my gosh, if I even open this door, I'm afraid the rain's going to come in the house. Look, that. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. And it's still sunny out. Well, and unfortunately, this uh, is going to stop us from eating out on the patio furniture tonight. Sitting out eating in the fresh air, huh? Yeah.
Okay, the chili is all done, and I put a little bit of cheese on mine. I haven't tasted it. I probably should have done that before. I took it, you know, off the heat and everything. <sighs> okay, oh, well, I'll try it now. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try and not get any cheese in there because I want to taste just the chili on its own. Ooh. That has a kick. What did I do? Oh my lord. I better add some sour cream or something to try and help myself. Darn it. I did not want to make it spicy. I completely left out the jalapeno. I did the Southwest Spice Blend. I did mild green salsa. And I didn't think the Southwest Spice Blend was spicy. I don't know. All right, I put some sour cream in. I'm gonna add a touch more cheese also. It's good except for just the crazy spiciness. But I don't do a lot of spice. Most of us don't. A couple of us um, love spicy stuff. You know, my husband loves just the spicier the better. So his, for his bowl, I had to add cayenne because he likes cayenne on everything. But not for me. It's, it's too much for me. Okay, maybe it would be a little bit better with some more cheese and sour cream. A little. A little. Okay. Better. Ooh, what did I do? I have a soft blanket. So he is, uh, he loves a soft blanket, so he likes to come right by me. So he's been very cuddly with me lately in general, so. Yes, I love you. Um, so the general consensus from us girls on the chili was that it's really spicy. So I tried to make a note of what I added and we, we like put a sticky note on the recipe so that like it warns me next time I make it to just kind of be more careful with that. Um, we're supposed to be putting up the new blind that I got today, but my husband is not ready to do that yet. So I am having dessert. This was just at the grocery store and I haven't had one of these in a very long time. Does anybody remember Dunkaroos? I remember liking the chocolate ones the best. This is vanilla because that's all they had. But um, I will eat the vanilla. I loved the chocolate. And it was just like cookies and icing. And the, the chocolate icing was so good. And I would run out of cookies. And then I would just eat the icing on its own. I don't think I'm going to do that now, though I love icing. I'll try and have a little more restraint than that. But I'm so excited to see these. Um, they were sold individually like this, but I don't know if they were sold individually back in the day. I feel like they weren't. And I remember um, like two seconds of the song from the commercial. It was like, you don't just eat, you don't go roo. Or something like that. It was something like that, I swear. <sighs> okay, yeah, vanilla cookies uh, and vanilla frosting with rainbow sprinkles. Let's open these up. Oh my lord, look at that icing. It looks a little soupy. There we go. And the, the cookies have a little D on them. Do they always have that? I don't remember what these looked like. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to go for it. Oh gosh, it's so much icing. Little Dunkaroo. It's so good, but it's probably so bad for you. It's like the the little, um, not cans, little plastic jar things of ready-made icing from, you know, whoever, Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines. That's what this is. But it's softer. If anybody knows where you can find chocolate Dunkaroos, please let me know. Because I, re I do really like these vanilla ones, but my preference is always chocolate. Memories. Work has begun on the new blind. My husband is heading up the project. 
I'm being very helpful. Laying on the floor, managing the situation. I'm, I'm the foreman. Does that make, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. I'm the foreman of the project. And then who are you? I appreciate it very much. This is thrilling stuff. Though I am actually excited. Should we get a level? No. Oh. I mean, straight this way as opposed to this way. Hmm. Uh, what? Let's see. Nice. So it's white. I wanted white instead of like this kind of off-white cream color. And so our current ones are the same. I don't know what you call this shape, but it's like the same kind of design. Or it's got like, I don't know, two layers or something. No, actually this one doesn't. I thought it did. Yeah, Anywho, just it's just bent. Okay, gotcha. But they're, they let a ton of light in. And that, I, I just can't have that. So um, we're going for a blackout thing now. That's what I want to try. And these are cordless and cellular. cellular yeah and black on the inside and I'm hoping that not a lot of light will creep in here at the edges oops yeah let's see Ooh, back up a little I know baby bug so I like it I mean I know they're plain but we don't need anything fancy I really hope they work so we'll test this one for now these two are still regular, but I just wanted, or the old ones, I just want to make sure that this one works okay before we buy, um, you know, all three. So, nice work, husband. Yeah, come here. Come here, little bug. He's here. He's just walking back and forth and back and forth. Bug. What? He loves to meow at us like he hasn't been fed, but he's definitely been fed. He acts like he's starving and like no one's ever given him food, but he already ate his dinner. Didn't you? Yes, you did. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. There's some other things I want to work on in our bedroom too, just to kind of give it a refresh, which it's never really had. Like our furniture in there isn't furniture I actually picked out for our bedroom. It was furniture that we bought for our guest room and then um, things changed, family situation changed, and uh, we just, that furniture didn't work in the guest room anymore, so then we took it in our bedroom, but it wasn't anything I ever picked for myself. So I just think it's kind of time to change stuff up and um, yeah, just make it a little more me in that room. So anywho, that's something like a project we've got coming up that's in the works. It's going to be plenty of work and I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do, but I'm going to try. Um, so yeah, that's it. I think I will. Anyway, I think I'll end this here and um, we have a little bit more to do, don't we? We have another couple of dishes mm -hmm. and then I'm going to get ready for bed after that. So uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.